You can just tell these boys have points to prove out there tonight. Oh, he turns on his left foot, hits it! Sack, looking for Misha. He's players in the box to cut it back for. Waldridge gets it. Cuts back inside. Can he shoot from there? He does! We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. My brother Seb is with me. We are in a very familiar place, Seb. We're at Bowers. It feels very odd tonight because we're not the home team. Very strange. We are. We just both said this is the Steve Gleed seat. We used to hear Ross Gleed's dad. We're very vocal from this exact spot. We're only about five yards the other side of the dugout or the, uh, what do you call that, the gangway? Press, the press the area. Press, the press oh, area. Oh, yeah, there, yeah, yeah the, tunnel. the tunnel, if you like. Um, but being here as an away supporter, is a little bit different. We knew we were going to be going back to them for our first competitive ever meeting with Bowers this season because they're in the same league now. But it's come earlier than we yeah. thought. And weirdly, we've got a semi-final tonight in August. You don't say that a lot. Bit of facts about this tournament. We've had the quarter-final already, first game of the season against Brentwood, which we won. We came in the competition at that round. Uh, it was a tournament that's supposed to have been played last year. They got pushed back to this year. That's why it's happening now. Yep. And that was due to fixture congestion. Essex Thameside Trophy is literally a massive boat, the trophy. It's a huge it's champion. It's a pretty amazing trophy, isn't it, to be fair? And the reigning champions, you know who they are? No. Bowers. I thought you were going to say Bowers that. Are Bowers are the are reigning pissy. champions. Ooh. And I think it'd be fair to say whoever wins this semi final will be the favourite because the other semi final yeah, has teams definitely. from lower divisions. So basically, beat Bowers and we're the favourites for the cup. And listen, it's not the biggest cup in terms of it's not the FA Cup. It's a it's trophy. Not, it's a trophy. It's it was, a trophy. We actually haven't won that many trophies. No, right? We want to win a trophy. So I want something in the, in the uh, cabinet. You know, every game matters in the season, but the early stages, you're all feeling yourselves out. It's more about the performance. You're building something for the year ahead. But this is a cup semi-final. Yeah, exactly. When are you getting a cup final? Who doesn't love a cup final? But where it's interesting, because it is one of the, shall we say, less prestigious cups, you usually see a lot of squad rotation. That's exactly what Devs has done tonight. And if we're honest, with the squad we've assembled, probably slightly underwhelming start to the season. Uh, you know, we've picked up two wins, two losses, but one of those wins was in this cup, so only one in the league so far. Come up against top of the league, Lewis, on the weekend. Make sure you watch that video if you haven't already. But tonight's a really good chance, not just to get back to winning ways, not just to make a statement of intent for the rest of the season, but also for some boys who haven't played a lot. Stake a claim. To stake a claim. So take a look at the team. Let's do it, Spenny. Okay. So as I mentioned, there is some changes, quite a few, in fact. Hussein Mardi comes in for his first ever competitive start for the tags. That is the signing that Agent Chunks helped us with. Saka San and Pedro return to the side on evil wing. Misha Jamaili leading the line. Alex Bolivan starts alongside Ayo Olakuga in the middle. The centre-back partnership is the same as it's been all season. Haysom and Cuba Gordon with Gids in goal behind them. But Jermaine Anderson in the right back. And Josh Rosoke also in for the start at left back. Very strong bench. Matty Waldridge, Nathan Smith, Max Cornhill, Toby Romalaren and Sam Higo Higgins. Um... Right, OK, you see the side and there's changes. Um, but it doesn't weaken us as a group at all. Uh, so I want us to go and play with uh, a real tempo, freedom going forward, but real tempo about us. Can put them under pressure. They've made a lot of changes. They've made more changes than us. Other than that, they've been playing well. They've been playing well and they've just been unfortunate with results. And it's a cup semi-final. So I think it's going to be a real good tempo and intensity to the game. And I want us to just come out on, on top of it. When we get forward, when we work the ball into the wide areas and make sure there's conviction about our decision making. And the big thing I want to see is when we're defending is that we want to defend and we're putting pressure on the ball. Yeah, get blocks in, get tackles in. Really care about, our, about protecting our goal. Joe? Let's get going. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go. Here we go then. Misha Jamali gets us underway. Couple ex Bowers lads in the team tonight, by the way. Pedro Cavallo and Josh Rosoke, both previously playing for the home team here, who are in red and white, of course. We are in the brand spanking new yellow and blue Adidas strip, which you can, of course, buy. The link's in the description. Pro Direct Sport. Get involved. It is potentially my favourite home shirt we've ever done. Oh, it's an absolute beauty. Misha Jamali getting it to Pedro, comes in from the right side. He's got Josh making a run. This is where Josh loves it. Touch and deliver. We need the lads in the box because the delivery is usually good. Goes back to the right foot though. Pedro gets a chance. Gets his old club here. Oh, nice. Stands it up. Good take from Misha. Can he just keep it cooking? No, he's not giving Jermaine too much to work with, but 
Jermaine looks down the line for Hussein Mardi. Puts it across. Oh, got to. Forces the save. Yeah. And it's an early goal made by Mardi. Finished by Hassan. Oh, it's lovely to see, Spen. I mean, it's a nice, strong, confident start from the tags. But there, one of those ones, you just sometimes feel like it's going to get stuck under his feet. But he's made just the right adjustment to put that into the far corner. That's the start you want. Really nice ball from Jermaine Anderson on the outside there to find Hussein Mardi on his first competitive start. Thank you again, Agent Chunks. And then we've got Sakasan back in the team, back in the goals. Very good start to the game. I said to him before the game, I said, just make those runs into the corners of the box that people don't like tracking. Hayson going long, looking for the run. Mish could be through here. He's on his left foot as well. Bit wide to shoot. Mish probably going to be occupying that sort of false nine role tonight, a little bit potentially. I've seen him drop Look off a few that. times. Look at him go. He's in the box. He started well tonight. Jamali on the right foot. Oh. Hits the post. We are cooking on gas, Sebi. False nine, legit nine. It doesn't matter. That's a lovely strike. He's a guy who just loves to be in amongst the goals, isn't he? His goal scoring pedigree in the minutes played has got to be one of the higher ones in the upper echelons of the hashtag history books. Try and work out what the shape they're playing. Throw comes in, Hayson not quite dealt with it, and shot comes Ooh. on goal. Good chance for Bowers there to get immediately back level. Just snatched it a little bit. What a switch that is, by the way. Straight over to Sack. As the sun sets in the background of the Lens Salmon Stadium, Sack's going to put one in. That one was easily headed away by Fernandez. New signing for Bowers, although I think he's returned from a previous spell. Alex Bolivan, another player really looking forward to seeing play a good few minutes tonight. Great Sack, ball. Looking for Mish, and he's players in the box to cut it back for. Oh, oh my God, he's hit the post again, God. Seb. I'll be honest with you, I can't say that Mish meant that necessarily. No, no way. The keeper's committed early, and there was just no one there at the back stick. Oh, Higo would have absolutely chomped that up. That's a good ball, That's though. Right. Cuba's in a foot race here against Babalola. Great. There's no, no small man himself, two very big players coming head to head shot from distance is wide yeah like you said in the intro spend like a lot of players out there it's a new season like devs probably has a view on what he thinks is his strongest side right now maybe there's a few question marks out there i think there's a couple of players that will know be wrestling for positions for a while and it's games like this where you know early on when result all the results haven't gone our way that some players can really stake a name and give him some headaches 100 percent, and that is you know it's a big squad we've got at the minute yeah so you want to take your chance when it comes bolivan maintains the ball under pressure He's going to hit one on the left foot. And listen, it's not his favoured foot, that. But I am told, reliably, by his ex-teammate, Luke May Parrot, his weekend. current teammate as well, but his ex at another club, that he scores a lot of long ranges. Interesting. Over to Jermaine Anderson. Pedro can look for another switch. Switches on here. Switches on. Io's got it. Can he see it? Goes to Hussein instead. Sack. Josh has gone inside now. So interesting pass attempts. Josh gets there. Wow. It's actually a very good. I sold it a bit short. It's a very good pass and Josh doing well. It's a very good pass and Josh has made a very good run. Even when he went towards it, I was like, he's not getting there, surely. And he did. And you've got to commend the goalkeeper on a brave save. It's a unreal ball. Corner, Alex Bolivan, back post. Headed unorthodoxly by a Bowers oh player. Hey, some it's a right-footed shot. Ah. And then I think Cuba's pass to uh, Hussein was a difficult one for him to get round. Good. The only good thing is, Ben, nothing's really sticking for them either, is it, really? Oh, Alex oh, Bolivan's oh, pass didn't here? quite work out. Offside. Chance Surely. here for Ali. First touch is decent. Puts it back inside. Deflected away by Josh Rosoke. Lovely little chest to knock it on. He's his chest to knock this one down and Go in. On. So from a similar area, he got his first shot off that led to the goal. This one maybe just overcomplicates it. Ah. Hussein. Alex is back on it, though. He wants to shoot. You can just tell these boys with points to prove out there tonight. Yeah, they want to get shots away, and I'm here for it. Can Sack do the same? Oh, he turns on the left foot, hits it! He's done everything right there. I'm really happy he did hit it on the left. I just wish he'd found the target. 100%. I mean, you just think he got around the ball just too much. From that angle, getting into that far corner was very, very difficult. I wonder whether it's one of those. I know you're always meant to shoot across the goalkeeper. Could he just fizz that one near side? And maybe would have gone in the top corner. Once he sits him down, he's got score, hasn't he? Pedro Carvalho into Alex Bolivan mm. here. Josh, can get you get there, it? Josh. 
He's done well no not to give there. up on it. Yes, twice. No foul. That's Don't obstruction, give it. if anything. Oh, he can't come away with the ball, though. Alex needs, oh, a, it's needs really a bit of information it there. Because he could have just played that one back. Ali running through. Offside. No, the yeah, one in the middle is on, upside, I think. I, I actually thought he was on. Jack saves it anyway. Well done, kids. I actually thought Babalola was off and he might have been on, but I, I'll take that. Bolivan. Mardi. Gets it over to Zach. I'm liking seeing these young players link up. Here's another one. Joshua Soke trying to get there in the box. Half time and it is 1-0 to the tags in a half that probably could have seen a few more goals. Saw a few post hits, that's for sure. Hopefully more of the same to come and we'll be booking ourselves a spot in the final. We've done the right thing to get 1-0 up and then it's like, what, it's a little bit easy. So we start taking the a little bit, start moving it slower, start trying to beat people in centre of the park. Just do the right thing. What we've done to get 1-0 up, do the right thing again, and then we can go 2-0 up, 3-0 up. Then you can start expressing yourself. But we're only 1-0 up, boys. All it takes is a lapse of concentration or a mistake, and they're in. He looks good and been comfortable and played some really good stuff, and we should have more goals. You can only assume that at some point they will make changes, and their changes will make them better. And the risk we face, and this is where we've got a little bit too easy ozy at the back because it's all slow, slow, slow. When they get better, they've only got to run a little bit harder and all of a sudden they'll get chances off us because we won't be ready for it because we've brought ourselves into a, a, almost a pedestrian-like pace of the way we're playing. At least we've got a feel of it. You know when teams are like five, six nil up and then they give a sh go away at the end, like a consolation goal, and it annoys them? It's like that, but we're not five or six up. That's how it is at the moment, and that's why we've got to turn the screw. Yeah, stay cold, be clinical. It's good, but come on, this make sure we get what we deserve. And we're underway for the second half. No changes for the tags, but there has been a triple change for Bowers. Unfortunately, I haven't got a numbered team sheet, so I don't know who's come on. I do know who's gone, gone off, though, if that helps you. Anyway, don't worry about them. Let's get our job done. Pedro gets the ball back here. Can he play it through the middle for Hussein? First time. It's all about his first touch here, which is good enough to keep possession. Back to Bolivan. To Sack. Can shoot from here. Does shoot. Not on target. Unlucky. That's one Good on, Josh. Oh, with the light scene, Alex just shifts it out of his feet and hit it. Good work here from Campbell out on the left for Bowers. Puts the cross in this way. They could hurt ball. us. Really good tackle. Second chance what and block blocked. Harry Hasten with a block. I think it was Josh with the original tackle, though. Corner for Bowers, who have probably been better since the half an hour mark of this game, I'd say. Gids comes, doesn't get it. And that is an easy tap in. What has happened there? Gids waves his arms at the ref as to say, I suggest that he's been fouled. He came for it ultimately, didn't get it, I think. The only thing I can say is that he did weigh with the ref, but he didn't do it that enthusiastically. It was more like a bit of an afterthought, I thought. I mean, I have to see it back to make a decisive, decisive claim on it. But, you know, we've said a couple of times we've been a little bit sloppy and given him a half chance. And eventually they've just bundled one over the line. It's been on their level. We literally just said, didn't we, that how, how not comfortable a lead 1-0 is. And I'm sure Devs would have been looking at the bench today thinking, maybe we don't use too many of these lads tonight. Save them for the weekend. We've got... a Game on Saturday and Monday. Foul by Bolivan there. It's going to be a free kick for Bowers on the sort of 35, 40 yard area. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ball coming in for Bowers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Out of nowhere, we've gone from 1-0 up to 2-1 down. Babalola with the goal. The man on loan from Billericay. And this is not going to plan, Sebi. This is really not going to plan. The prophecy has fulfilled itself. We could not have been any more comfortable in this first half. We took that early chance and then did not take any of the others. Bowers started to show signs of life and then they've started this second half like a completely new side. And in a 10 minute spell, they've now got themselves from behind to ahead and hashtag are not at the races. We've not been at the races since sort of the half an hour, Mark. No. We've been poor actually. And I think this game needs some changes now. Devs has given some boys a chance. And I'm not saying it's the new lads coming in that are the problem by any means, but this particular 11 is not doing it right now, so we need to shuffle things yeah, up. Yeah, we do. Hasem, into Mish. Need to make it stick. Need to look after this ball a bit better. 
Not like that, basically. He's offside. Cuba, he's offside too. That's offside. He's definitely offside. If this goes in, Seb, good Great save, save from Gids. Good save. He's definitely offside there. Yeah, yeah, I think he looked very offside to me. We look like we can't defend all of a sudden. No, we look absolutely calamitous. The man on the edge in complete acres. He's going to hit it. Now all of a sudden we're just punting the ball out. Max Cornell looks like he's getting readied. I feel like he needs more than one oh. sub. That was very controversial clearance there. Can we punish? Pedro picks it up. Just play it. Io. Still Io. Mardi now. Can he get a shot off? Hits it. Oh, I've seen worse. I've seen, definitely seen worse. Just the shots at the moment, they're just not, they're not many of them on target, are they? A lot of them are going high and over. Hussain and Lucky. I think it's still a back four potentially. I'm not really sure what we're playing right now, to be honest. But it's out wide left with Campbell. He's been good this half. It's a different player to the, the Campbell that played he, first he half. He controls the ball so well. Ball mastery. Chance of a shot on the edge here. It's not a bad hit. What? The hell just happened, Seb? I mean, all I can think of is that that has just moved like a banana in the air because, I mean, it, how's it just gone in? I'm in shock. Giz didn't even make a move for it. He didn't even look like it was in the corner either. Fernandez with the strike. He's moved like a, like a knuckleball in the air. I mean, it looked like a well-hit shot as soon as it left his foot, but... Obviously, something's made it hard for Gids because he's not even tried to save it. I don't know whether he was blinded by something or he didn't quite see the shot come off. or And then it, did, it looked like it did move in the air an awful lot, to be honest. But Why do you have so much happened? space, though? More yeah, importantly, the ball's come to him in the edge of the box and he's got no one yeah. near him. Long, long way out. Sorry? Long, long way hmm. out. Sack comes away with it. Can he hold on to it? He does. This is vintage oh, Sack Got to be now, boys. Got to be now if we're going to get back in this. We need something from this. Cuts inside. Still goes. Just heavy on the pass once again. Take this opportunity to award your UFL player of the match, though, please. Yeah, well, it's not going to be anyone in a hashtag shirt, sadly. I'm probably going to give it to the guy who's just been the most lively and part of the visible Bowers resurgence. That's number 18, Campbell. Yeah. Just think his energy has just lifted them from nowhere in this game to now comfortable, comfortable winners. Gids sends it long. Toby's under it. Good flick. Here go. Should score. It just got behind him. Max Cornell with, some would say, an open net, although it wasn't an easy finish, Seb. No, I'm going to be fair to Max there. It was coming onto him really high. And, I mean, obviously, you want to see that go in the back of the net. But that is just summing up what Hashtag are right now, just not having any of the rub of the green, any of the quality needed. Cornell's going to send it towards Toby. Defender's just been on it tonight. Jermaine on the ball. Toby stands on it. Goes back to Jermaine. Four minutes injury time wow. on the board. Okay, it's not impossible, Spenny. That's a pullback on Jermaine as he does well to find space. He's got to bang it, Toby. Toby hits it. Needs to I'm test the keeper. I honestly think it must be something in the ball. Do you know what they've got to start doing? He's aiming low and let it go high. And a lot more of them are going over that it's same amount. not good amount. finishes. No, obviously not. But could there be a smarter way of playing what we've got? You've got to adapt. Here you go. To Hussein, lifts it towards Sack. Maybe needed a flat pass there. Hussein's back on it though. Once again, trying to find Sack. Nathan Smith now, will be one of his first contributions since coming on late in the game for Joshua Soke. Here is Nathan. Does he right foot cross it? He does. Oof. I've seen worse. Waldridge gets it. Cuts back inside. Can he shoot from there? He does. Oh, oh. Matty, I would have. He's done so well to create the chance, but he's I done ever so well. I actually think there was almost no space for him there. I think he was trying to thread that through the needle, round the defender, and then back again inside the post. That was a very, very difficult one. He had a good strike on it. It's just, I don't know if he had the room. He needed one of those last few chances to go in, and we'd have had a We've very interesting finale to the game. But alas, can't hit the target at the moment. How do we not hit the target in so many shooting scenarios? Burns kick. Maybe the wind having against you is a... It's all over here and it's the tournament is over as well. No final spot for Hashtag. Bowers in the final again as the current holders of the Thameside Trophy. They're now the favourites to retain it. And it is now becoming not the best start to the season for the Tags. But the good thing about football is lots of chances to change that. Two games this weekend. Villaricky on the Bank Holiday Monday. But before that, at home, we play Horsham. Two difficult games. 
but hopefully a bounce back is around the corner. We'll see you on the next one. Up the tags.